just before dusk is a good time to forage for food. Many of the jungle's predators are beginning to stir, and they can provide you with a welcome meal. Tree racer. Oh, just got to pull him back. Where's his head? Wow. Just got me then. Luckily, he's non-venomous, so we've always got to be careful. You know, they say snakes don't brush their teeth. And let you see his jaw's gone round himself. That's where he had me. And this guy will normally live up in the trees, feed off squirrels, birds, eggs. But he's going to be my dinner. Got him properly by the head now. Whew. Well, that's supper at least. Only I want to give that bite a good wash. If you're not human, if your hand doesn't shake of it after getting bitten by a snake. Now this will do. Wild yam. See this? Break it off. You rub that sap onto a wound, and that's going to act like a mild antiseptic to a snake bite. I do not want an infection in the jungle. OK, let's get back, cook this up. Skinned and gutted, snake is good barbecued over a simple fire. His tail's still moving. Yeah, don't come undone. Get out of this, Clofitch. Even though it's been decapitated, involuntary reflexes keep the snake's tail twitching until it's cooked through. That should be done now. They always say snake tastes like chicken. Tell you what, it doesn't. It's tougher, bonier. But good nourishment. And in the jungle, you need plenty of that.